So friends, we've been talking about taking responsibility and you could see that there is a bit for you and it's a bit for God. It's a teamwork. You say, can two work together? I said they be agreed. So if you play your own role, you obey him, you keep his status, you do what is right in his sight, you pray to him, or you look up to him, you ask him, you don't do it your own way, you allow him to be God, to be in charge, you focus on what he asks you to do, you, no matter the burden of your life, you decide to bring it to him, because he's waiting. The scripture says that uh, in Matthew chapter 11, if you read from verse 28, he says that whosoever shall come, that or say all you that labor and everything come i will give you rest so he's ever waiting for you to come so he has his own beat you have your own beat and if you take responsibility that situation will change for good don't forget that and that's why i want to conclude in this manner you know in psalm 23 from verse 1 to 6 he said i love the way he started he said the lord is my shepherd i shall not want then he stopped talking about him now he starts saying he leaded me, he leaded me, he did this, he did that. Do I walk through the valley of shadow of death? I will fear no evil, for thou at me. And he kept saying all that. Sir, why? If you relax and let him, it will be glorious. Why? Isaiah 49, verse 16. God said, I have inscribed you in the. I love the way Easy to Read Version put it. And I'm going to read it for you from the Easy to Read Version. Say, I drew a picture of you on my hand you are always before my eyes don't forget that if you cooperate with him he said i am if you made him your shepherd if you made him your number one if you allow him to take the driver's seat of your life he said i have engraved you have drawn a picture of you in my hand you are always on before my eyes so god is on the watch concerning you if you allow him the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. So take responsibility. And another responsibility that you should take is about coming to church tomorrow. In our church, we have three services, two of the main services, and the one in between is for the youth and young adults. The Lord bless you and keep you. Have a blessed week, weekend.